Hello, I am Lucas Palmeiro from Immersion End and I'm here for another episode of BAM's Manual. In this episode, I will be talking about the Automations panel. This panel provides clip-based step automation of the parameters of a track's trigger, modulator, engine, effects, and mixer devices. It also features the timeline of the currently selected clip, which can be edited using the same pencil types as in the timeline panel. Multiple parameters can be automated by adding them to the scrollable list on the left using the Learn button and interacting with the parameter you wish to add. Conversely, you can remove parameters from the list by selecting them and then clicking the trash icon next to Learn. Clicking a parameter from the list shows its automation represented by a series of vertical bars, one for each step of the clip. You can draw erase automations manually by using the automation tools, as well as clicking the preset ramp shape shortcuts and randomization functions also present on the toolbar. Automated steps appear brighter in color, with non-automated steps shaded darker. Using the Erase tool resets a step's automation and thus returns it to the darker color. I will now make a description of the tools available in this panel. Select Notes Pencil Type. Pencils work the same as on the Timeline panel but only to write notes. You can check this by clicking now on the link on the top right corner of the screen. Select Automation Tool Type. This first icon represents Write Automation, where you can write automation value bar on the corresponding step. Second, Create Probability Range. With this tool, you can create the range value of a parameter from which a value will be randomly chosen. And finally, Erase, where you can delete the step automation. Next, we have Mirror Automation Horizontally, Create up ramp automation, create up and down automation, create down and up automation, and create random automation. I will not address the clip page and loop functionalities since you can check them out on the timeline video being linked now on the top right corner of the screen. So next we have automation parameter list. Learn and add parameter to an automation list. And finally, delete parameter from automation list. I am now going to talk on how to automate a parameter. Parameter automation is handled at clip level. That is, each clip has its own unique set of automated parameters. The list of parameters that are automated for each clip is shown in the Automation Parameter list on the left of the Automations panel. As you can see here, if I change the clip in the Matrix panel, the parameter default value changes with the selected clip. Parameter values have three layers of handling. The project parameter default value for all the project, no automation, the clip lock value added to the automations list, and it is the value for the whole clip, and the step lock value, which is the value for a single step. Any parameters that you delete from a step will revert to its clip lock value. If you then delete the parameter from the automations list, it will revert to its default value. There is more than one way to automate a parameter in BAM. Any time a parameter is automated, it is always added to the automation page list. When a parameter is added to the automation page list, its value is always associated with the current clip. These are the ways in which you can automate parameters in BAM. Automate a parameter through adding the parameter to the automations page and writing the desired values on each step. Second, 
In iOS only, you can change the value of a parameter in a single step by pressing and holding the step on the automations page or the timeline page and manipulating the parameter. Manipulate a parameter directly while the record button is active. When recording is active, parameters can be recorded in two different ways. Right to the record button, there is a recording mode button that toggles between latch or touch parameter recording. On latch recording, when you are recording a parameter, it will continuously overwrite the parameter's value as long as the recording is active. While the touch recording will only overwrite the parameter's value as long as the parameter is being manipulated. Finally, holding the shift key and manipulating a parameter will change the value of that parameter for the whole clip. Whenever a parameter is either automated or modulated, you can confirm its activity by a small dot moving around the parameters knob, showing the automated or modulated new value. If a parameter control is manipulated directly while it's being stepped automated, this will bypass its automation and the icon near the record button, the re-enable automation button, will light red, showing that the automations have been bypassed. By pressing this icon, BAM will return automations to normal. Finally, you can access some different functions for some tools, by using them with the shift button pressed, which is on the bottom right corner of the app. These functions are, add the parameters to clip automations when pressing it, shift between pencil and eraser on the automation tool type, and selection of loop zone when it is active. This is it for the automations panel. I hope that you will join me on the next video tutorial.